Most of us are aware of the concept of stewardship, or at least we think we are. Recognizing everything we have is a gift from God, being grateful, developing our gifts, and generously sharing with others. But how can we practice stewardship in our everyday lives? How can we make it meaningful? How can we make it matter? I think it's important because uh, it's what God has called us to do on earth here. And in helping other people, you're contributing to something that's bigger than yourself and bigger than what just a small amount of people can do. Just remember three things, time, talent, and treasure. One, time. Invest in your prayer life and give time to God. Pray to God every day. Designate specific times and keep your appointment with God. Talk to, and more importantly, listen to God. Also, share your time with others. Be willing to help them and give them your time. Participate in school activities, ministries, and community organizations. Accept responsibility for helping others. It means giving back, just whether it be your time or, or available funds. It's, uh, you know, when I think of stewardship, I think of Borgia, I think of Washington, Missouri. It's really what separates us from a lot of different places in the world. Two, talent. Be generous with the gifts God has given you. Offer your talent. Use your talents to give back to your school or community. Offer to help in an area that you have particular skills in. Sharing our talents with people can create more lasting fulfillment. It's actually a win-win situation. We get to exercise our talent and other people on the other end receive a benefit from it. It's become important to me to realize um, how much Washington runs on volunteers and service organizations. And I think you can't just sit back and watch everything get done and realize it happens on its own. So it's become important to me to get involved with some of the service organizations, whether it's just volunteering at an event, a festival downtown, or actually joining one of those organizations um, on a monthly basis and, and raising money for the Little League programs or building parks in our community. Um, it's, it's become an important part of of who I am today. And three, treasure. Be generous with your financial gifts. Offer your treasure. Remember all those who have already given so much for you to have the wonderful experiences that you've had. The service all starts, I mean, it's lead by example. My parents were the example, mom and dad. If they weren't working, they were working or helping someone else. We spent a lot of time at St. Vincent's. That's where Went to elementary school. My sisters went to elementary school there. My dad's been there his whole life. My mom was at Our Lady of Lords before they were married, and it's just been the way of life. Understand the importance of giving back. Stewardship, giving back, isn't some exclusive club. Everyone should be a steward. Stewardship is leaving something better than you found it. Uh, it may be an oversimplification, but um, for better or for worse, we are all going to have an impact. And do you want that impact to be positive or negative? But living a stewardship lifestyle isn't easy. It requires change that opens our hearts. Stewardship isn't a program to entice people to give more money. It's a lifestyle of generously sharing our gifts. So being a board grad myself, um, it's, it was very important for me to get back involved with the community. Um, you know, the Borgia community, the Washington community as a whole made me who I am, uh, gave me the education and the skill set I needed to be able to get a job and, and build my career here. So I think it was only it was the least I could do to be able to get back to the community and be able to uh, uh, make Washington as good as it, as it possibly could be. Stewardship requires action. As disciples of Jesus, we are called to be stewards of the gifts we've been given. It's that simple. If we had to tell the students here anything is uh, lead by example. I mean, we all know what's good, we all know what's bad. We have to, have to follow the good. Consider how you may be able to share your time, your talent, 
your treasure, not just now, but also in the future with your community and your school.